I'm Waylon Rose, the pilot for Shifted Cinema. I'm Ethan Fortney. I'm the camera operator. Shifted Cinema is freelance aerial videography. So we work with other productions to produce whatever aerial service they need. That's our full-time job, flying helicopters with video cameras on it. We woke up with the crew and saw the sunrise every morning on the flat and busted out the helicopter and got ready to shoot bikes and shoot the pits and just basically do whatever they asked and whatever we could. And uh, it was a pretty fun week. I fly all visual line of sight, so I always have visual perspective of the aircraft so I can see uh, surrounding obstacles and reference it to our flight paths and our subjects. Ethan has video feeds so he can see what the camera is looking at and how to frame it and do camera moves. The salt flats for this film is one of the craziest moonscapes you can ever be on. There's nothing else quite like it. There's no echo. The salt is such a consistency, you don't even leave footprints. It's like you don't really exist. The van would drop us off way out in the middle of nowhere and leave us there to get a shot as a bike comes ripping by. It all worked out to a point where we got the call that Mark was going, and it was just such a perfectly timed shot, so where we were able to just climb up and around the radio tower and then track out onto the flat to see Mark ripping by. It was pretty impressive how quick storms rolled across the salt. And when we have equipment that requires us to tear it apart before we put it back into pelican cases, it seems to come across even faster. It's intense out there. We were like five minutes away on that first day from losing thousands of dollars of gear in like a second. It was opening day for the flats. All the cars were lined up. We were shooting those guys all morning. We took off, climbed over the Bonneville sign, going out onto the flats. and. As we were basically at our at our max, Waylon realized that the sticks were feeling a little soft, and meaning that there wasn't as much power as we generally have to the helicopter. And she started to come down, and that broke one of the landing gear off. Had to do a little bit of uh, field repair work. You got to be prepared for the unexpected with what we do. Our tripod broke in the first couple days, so I spent the remainder of the days sitting on the ground and at the salt flats, even though it looks really dry and it's extremely hot, the salt is always wet. And so every pair of pants or shorts I had was completely crusted over with salt on my butt. It truly felt like when we were leaving the salt after that week that we were leaving like summer camp. We bonded so tightly with the crew over all those days of working early mornings and long days and exhausting days on the salt. It's a pretty special team of people to have so many creative talents working together and each doing their own specific job. It feels awesome just to be able to contribute anything to a project like this that's such a passionate project. So I can't wait to see the final piece.